Hi guys, how's it going? Lee Scott, Vulcan Watch Straps. I just wanted to jump on and do a quick video. I've just seen the new release from Artisan de Geneve that have just brought out a new Juan Pablo Montoya uh, partnership Rolex Daytona and it looks absolutely fantastic. So I just want to do a quick uh, quick review on that and just go over some of the features and, uh, and show you this new watch because I think it's absolutely brilliant. So roll the intro and let's get into it. So guys, Juan Pablo Montoya has teamed up with luxury Swiss watchmakers Artisan de Genève to launch a 50 off limited edition timepiece which is inspired by the mighty Rolex Daytona and I have to say it looks absolutely fantastic. So who are Artisan de Genève? Artisan de Genève are a luxury customization company based in Switzerland. They customise Rolex watches to clients design and specification also produce a number of their own inspired models like the La Montoya. You can see here some of their examples of their fine watches and this is a snippet taken from their website. So for those of you who don't know who Juan Pablo Montoya is, he is a seven time F1 winner, double Indianapolis 500 winner and a three times Le Mans 24 hour winner. Montoya is a race car driver. Yep, he's raced in some of the best classes in the world of motor racing and now he's teamed up with Artisan de Genève to create his own watch inspired by Formula One. So Montoya is known for his fiery, fiery persona on track and off track and his aggressive racing style. And he said that the Rolex Daytona absolutely embodies everything that he loves about racing and wanted to work with a company such as Artisan de Genève to actually create an amazing homage to motor racing and one that is inspired by Juan Pablo Montoya. So at first glance from this watch then, I actually thought that this was a Hublot, very Hublot-like with the uh, skeleton dial, so you can see all the inner workings of the watch. I absolutely love it when watch manufacturers do this and create the exhibition cases, so you can see all the inner workings of the watch. So the bezel on this watch has been finished in carbon fibre black made from composite materials, which is lighter than the original, but bears all the same all markings that you would expect on a Rolex Daytona. So the case on this watch then has been polished to a satin finish with a mix of brushing and sandblasting. They wanted to achieve a special polishing that gives the piece a contemporary and timeless look, highlighting all the splendour of the skeletonized calibre. The red arrow chrono hand is sandblasted and they replaced the counter hands with red, yellow and blue hands. Each marker is individually polished by hand and represents each colour on the Colombian flag representing the country where Juan Pablo Montoya is from. So also representing the colour of the Colombian flag are the dial markers for the chronographs on the main face. They are also painted in red, blue and yellow to represent the Colombian flag. The main rotor has also been redesigned in 22 karat grey gold with an open work design and hand finished beveled edges. The case back of the La Montoya has also been redesigned as an exhibition back showing all the inner workings of this beautiful model. Strictly limited to 50 pieces the technical specification is as follows. The base watch is a Rolex Daytona 116520 with a case diameter of 40 millimeters. The dial is a handmade skeleton angled dial designed by Juan Pablo Montoya. The bezel is a forged carbon bezel. The case is the original Rolex stainless steel with handmade polishing. The movement is a modified skeleton Rolex 4130 movement angled by hand with 22 karat gold grey rotor, water resistance to 100 meters and the case back is a transparent sapphire which is individually engraved. So guys, all in all a fantastic timepiece and if I had a spare 43,000 euros I think I'd buy one myself. But that's it for this week, like I said, just wanted to jump on, do this quick video, show you this amazing watch, it's just been released. So head over to uh, the Artisan website, we'll hit in the link below 
uh, check out that watch for yourself please if you found this video useful give us a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and we'll see you on saturday as we'll still be posting our weekly video so thanks a lot for listening to this one and we'll see you next time